In the video, you see the gunman there wearing a dark hoodie sitting in the back pew. He then gets up, walks to the back, and appears to say something to a deacon, and then pulls out a long gun, aims, and begins to shoot. The attack lasting just six seconds. Well, that's a long six seconds. And a lot of things go down in six seconds. Wilson, who is in charge of church security, pulls out his own gun, fires a single shot, kills the gunman before he could harm anyone else. Active threat, 1900 South Las Vegas Trail. Cries amidst the chaos erupting. At least five other parishioners pulled out handguns and carefully approached the gunman. Toward the back of the church, one man kicks away the suspect's gun and picks it up. All of it happening as parishioners duck in the pews and children run for safety. We're going to need help with patient care. And it was a sad thing that he had to come into the congregation and hurt people. It's a sad thing that we had to hurt him. Authorities and parishioners now praising Wilson's split-second decision to intervene. I don't feel like I'm a hero. I was doing what I needed to do to protect the people of the congregation. And I, All right. In the same scenario, I would do it again. Okay, guys. Uh, I was a former law enforcement officer. The fire. Also, guys, I'm just checking in. Uh, security team. Project says it is not is just about bad. having the gun, but knowing how to use it. A little while ago, just My a few minutes ago. Is just going to wear praise God. Firearm, so what I've done is I've done little short segment videos. Because um, I told you I'm having so many weird equipment problems. My phones won't even talk. I've never even heard of that. So anyway, I can't seem to download my phones no matter which computers I go to or... You know, which yeah. is something I've been doing for years and years and years, and it's just not working. He's coming from the west, and he's not going to touch the ground. He's coming from the west, shooting that hot, red-hot metal projectile into that one eye. Into that one eye. The one eye, Willie. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Guys, I'm just checking in. Uh, the project is finished. We were aware that there was some concerns for him. We were already watching, we, watching him. We had cameras turned on him. I had a clear shot. I was standing to Richard's right about another six feet when the individual got up, produced a shotgun. Y'all got to be prepared at all times. Is that it? Alright. Where's your neck? Are we going to Philly yet? Not yet? Okay. The people standing up. Finally got a, about a second later, had a clear shot, and I took the shot. The shooter went down, went over to cover, made, and pulled the shotgun away from his body. And then, you know, other people that are armed in the church that are part of the security team, you know, came forward, you know, to help, you know, in case he did try to get up, which he did not. Sir, how did you know that he was uh, potentially... Uh, just he had only a, a fake while, beard a and a just, fake wig with God. a toboggan on his head. So what I've done is I've done little coat. short segment uh, videos. From where I was standing, I um, could see. I told you I'm having so many weird Right hand at all times, pretty much at all times. My phone's times, won't even could not, could not see his left hand. hand. So anyway, I can't seem to download my phones no matter which computers I go to. Potentially. You know, which is something I've been doing for years and years and years. And it's just not working. Potentially. I have uh, a way around it by sitting down for just one minute beard videos. And a so I did a bunch of little sections the and we'll stitch head. them all together and we're working on it. Coat. I gotta uh, get them today. From where I was standing, I could see but tonight, I get a video at all tape. Time, much at all times, the completion and we're putting the lights up. Texas. Apparently with the shotgun he had. Guys, there are so a, many supernatural, so many impossible testimonies that go with this. Which is a legal firearm. the bell... So Jack here is explaining how he was comfortable taking the shot. The shot is coming to, uh, it's here. The shot is coming here.
Thanks, Jack. Now, by the way, Robert Lambert and Jack Lamb, thank you both for the bells. It was now, by the way, Robert Lambert and Jack Lamb, thank you both. And Jack Lamb, thank you. 18 in, it's a 12 gauge with a pistol grip on it, which is a legal firearm. He had it in, evidently in his pocket. I don't know this for fact. Evidently in his pocket and underneath his armpit, underneath the, you know, the long coat. Who killed a gunman Sunday inside a church in White Settlement, Texas. The gunman shot and killed two people before Jack Wilson, Texas. The gunman shot and killed two people before Jack Wilson... Hold that. His firearm... By the way, Robert Lambert and Jack um, thank you and fired a single because it had a saddle that was with it. Jack, Two people before Jack Wilson pulled out his firearm. It would have taken three more weeks. So anyway, without too much ado, when I go... Is literally what that means there. So we put all these extra words in there for the... Tr so anyway... literally what that means there so we put all these extra words in there for the translation but it's not what it anyway without too much ado when i praise god so the building's in the the uh the testimony that comes with it is everything and now there's a bell up there that a guy named Yahweh is given a bell ringer supposed to have. Same guy that showed you the U.S. currency had all the bombings in the United States printed on that currency. On that currency, even future bombings printed on new currency notes. Same guy that is telling you, same guy that showed you the U.S. currency had all the bombings in the United States printed on that currency. On that currency, even future bombings printed on new currency. He would be pointing to himself. Future bombings. Future. You know, like in the future. The link. told to ring a bell, the same guy that brought you that information. The same guy that brought you the information, the Vatican's a snake. The same guy that brought forth all this information is going to go ring a bell. When There's the, the Unabomber. That's who's ringing the bell. Not someone that says, oh, well, God told me this, or God told me that, and they have no proof. Oh, well, God told me this, and God told me that. Here's a couple things I didn't know. The White House 
is between 15th Street, same as William Penn, and 17th Street, same as 17th and JFK, between 15th and 17th Street, the William Penn Building. Here's the White House, Garfield. Hmm, I heard that. I heard that lady say Garfield, the street names, Garfield and, ah, what was the, where the hell did it just go? Okay, well, you've seen Garfield, right? Maybe it needs to zoom in. Pennsylvania. Ellipse. But what was that? Garfield. I don't, why is it not there anymore? That is. It's so a Garfield inaugural arch. And chapel. That's what it is. Garfield and chapel. And chapel. There's a chapel that's right there. Do you mind? There's a chapel that's right there. Uh, well, no, not that. That's a future bombing. Uh, there. There's a chapel over here. Right next to the Masonic Temple. Where you got your symbol there from the Jersey shooting. And the William Penn. This is the west side right here. This is the one eye that Willie is going to get hit with. Because 17th Street is over here. No, I don't, I'm not traveling there, not that I know of, and it's 2-3 bypass, Murder Bay, Route 50, 50 miles per hour, Clex going to the mall, the mall road, Route 66. It is near that cemetery where the first shooting happened, and all of a sudden we're seeing other people coming out of their homes, coming out of the, the bodegas at this point. Uh, so it is a little bit of a stand down, at least for people um, in this area trying to figure out also what happened. But once, uh, once police officers and firefighters said that there was an active shooter... In in this area trying to figure out also what happened but once uh once police officers and firefighters Wentz. said that there was an active shooter in the area they were Wentz. carson Wentz. trying to clear the streets out uh, now you see people coming out but you also have more emergency vehicles uh, coming down the street if you take a look down JFK Boulevard uh, more are coming so we more seem to be kind of in the center of where everything is happening and the area of concern for law enforcement right now but most importantly they want to act they want to make sure that no one is still walking around the city uh, with a gun um, I don't know if they've gotten any more reports of shots fired, but uh, JFK is loaded right now, as you can see with the emergency vehicles uh, from Union City, from Newark, uh, from Kearney, of course, Jersey City, uh, the, the prosecutor's office, state police, everyone is out here trying to make sure that things stay safe. The, you see these um, heavy equipment vehicles yeah. coming up right now, also with some traffic uh, that is trying to get up the street as well. Uh, a long contingency of these emergency vehicles coming. We don't know where they're headed or what their concern is at this point. Comcast uh, but Center. it is a very active scene. Yeah, Tony, we want to remind our audience Comcast it's a Center. very fluid, active situation. Uh, the facts on this can change as they come in initially. I want to go right now to the uh, board of... Uh... You guys rightly pointed out it's a fast unfolding situation, but what I'd like to... Um, we actually to the viewers is that all of the public schools in Jersey City, all 43 schools are currently on lockdown. All of our students and staff are safe. And who opened fire at a Texas church over the weekend. Keith Thomas Kinnunen fatally shot two people inside the West Freeway Church of Christ. It happened in the city of White Settlement, Texas. The 43-year-old was killed by a volunteer security guard at the scene. Mireya Villarreal spoke with the man whose actions authorities say saved countless lives. I don't see myself as a hero. 
at that point, I need to take out the evil. I had a clear shot because people were standing in the final about a second later. I took another shot and the shooter went down. Jack Wilson knew something was wrong. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, as you guys rightly pointed out, it's a fastly unfolding situation. But what I like to uh, reiterate to the viewers is that all of the public schools in Jersey City, all 43 schools are currently on lockdown. All of our students and staff are safe. They're inside the school buildings and there is no reported activity in or inside of our schools or around. No third activity, no third eye activity. Because all the 43 year olds have been taken out. Or at least, at least one of them that I know of. What's going on? We heard um, earlier in the day there was some shooting by the Bayview Cemetery. And those, those gunmen moved um, on JFK. West activity in or inside of our schools or around. And that's. that's, that, that's Landmark, JFK Boulevard, Landmark, JFK Boulevard. Two blocks down is the Comcast building, Comcast, 17th and JFK. And there's your $50 bill. 17th and JFK, Chase Bank. Future bombings. Old $50 bill. Old Corpus Christi, 50 miles per hour. Route 50 by the White House. Crossing over Old, Old Corpus Christi, 2-3 Bypass, 3rd Street, the White House, in between 15th and 17th Street. Here's 15th Street in Philly. JFK and then 17th right down there the completion and we're putting the lights up <laughs> guys there are so many supernatural so many impossible testimonies but tonight I'm going to videotape the completion and we're putting the lights up Guys, there's going on. There's some traffic still happening uh, in this area. But if you go further down JFK Boulevard, you might see some flashing lights down there. We believe uh, that might be close to where that cemetery is. They still have that area of JFK Boulevard uh, cordoned off, uh, probably at this point, looking for evidence, trying to secure that scene, make sure it's okay. There are literally hundreds of officers here, uh, heavily armed at this point, probably still trying to make sure that the area around that bodega is safe. We are probably, we're told, about three blocks uh, away from that scene, but we have seen uh, to make sure that the area around that bodega is safe. We are probably, we're told, about three blocks. One block? Uh, to 15th Street. Two blocks to 16th Street on Route 3. Three blocks to 17th Street. Here's the roof. Here's the roof that 
when you get on it, you can you can aim your projectiles on a on an angle right here like this. Click can aim his projectile right to the west side of the clock tower. That one eye that fell 15 minutes before the cement truck decided to get there. That one eye that fell 15 minutes beforehand. Same person that laid hands on a blind guy. And his eye restored, on, he was blind in one eye. That eye was restored within 15 minutes. One eye within 15 minutes. There he is. Just showing you how he's going to be up on the roof. Right here. That's 8 Penn Center. 17th and JFK. Come over here. This is the west. This is coming from the west. This missile is coming from, you know, the image. It's coming from the west and it's not touching the ground. To one of the four eyes of Willie. There's four. One on each side, east, west, south, north. It said 15 minutes before the cement truck came, this tree decided to fall over. And I'm thinking, that's crazy. I had all these trees I had to clear out of the way for the cement truck to get back there. That's really weird. There is a fire burning at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Now looking on with horror, uh, these, uh, I want to go to our correspondent Melissa Bell, who is live for us there on the scene. Melissa Bell, who is Bell, who is... Is everything. And now there's a bell up there that a guy named Yahweh has given a bell ringer as supposed to ding, ding. I'm in, and the, the, the moment I asked about helping me get the bell up, because I'm in pain, guys. I've got some... Wanted to check in. Happy New Year. God bless. I'm going to go outside, and we're going to... Drink a soda and Seven up. start putting up the lights through the building. Time's up. Right, Put up the lights. Wanted to check in. Happy New Year. God bless all you guys. I'll be back quick. So all you got to do is just go down the street. And you'll see the lights when you go more down 17th. I mean, uh, Broad, uh, sorry. Broadman Street. Broadway, Broad Street. You go down further down JFK and you'll see the light show. Uh, law enforcement officers Delhi, from across Delhi, the region Fire, and state Comcast, police uh, come JFK. to the aid of Jersey City Police to try to secure this area. Uh, here we are nearly an hour later and people are starting to come out of their homes, starting to come out of the stores Fire uh, engine to, guy to number eight. see what's uh, going on. There's some traffic still happening uh, in this area, but if you go further down JFK Boulevard, you might see some flashing lights down there. We believe yeah, you'll see uh, that might be sure. close to where that cemetery is. You'll see flashing lights right there at 8, Building 8, 8 Penn Center is right where this guy's standing, Caddy Corner, with the Comcast building. They still right across have the that street. area of JFK Boulevard. Uh, Along with the other side of the building, the, the Masonic Temple looking like the top of that building there, Broadway, Broad Street. Uh, cordoned off. JFK, bro I mean, my goodness. Uh, probably at this point, looking for evidence, trying to secure that scene, make sure it's okay. There are literally hundreds of officers here, uh, heavily armed, are probably, we're told, about three blocks uh, away from... Yeah, he wasn't meant to stand right there to show you that eight, was he? 
Was he? Not at all. Not at all. Not, not at all. To show you 17th and JFK. 17th Street. And to show you the Comcast Center. from that scene, but we have seen uh, several dozen police officers heading in that direction. We've seen the SWAT teams uh, also head in that direction and down the street to where the initial shooting uh, may have taken place. I have no stake in it. There was it's not been four other people. I mean, it's something I told me to do, man. Just like the false prophet. Oh, well, Clark's doing it for me. Uh, I gave the shipping what was behind all of this. And the message is as clear as it does. The bell's about to ring. Uh, I think that bell ring is pretty much the Lord saying it's time to... Uh, it's time to get ready for the end, but, uh, this beginning is the of the end, I guess. Sometimes it's Florida at the very beginning. Anyway, so, days. Oh, who knows? Maybe New York will get wiped out with the tidal wave. Maybe the Hoover Dam will go at the same time. Maybe, you know, that $100 bill thing will happen the moment I read. Oh, I don't know. But I know this. There's a building out there. And it is so supernatural, the bell, the message that came with the bell, I documented it, it's so supernatural. There's the football game. Maybe that is the bell being rung. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Does he know? For God's people. For the Lord God's people. Eight minutes later, about two miles away, there was then an exchange of gunfire and reports of a suspect barricaded where Tony Gates is at Dr. Martin Luther with Jersey City police officers near or in the Bayview Cemetery here at Garfield Avenue and Chapel Avenue. Garfield Avenue and Chapel. But now it doesn't want to show up again. Whatever that Garfield thing was, it was written right across the White House. Ring that bell, I'm going to ring that bell and I'm going to come running in here and do a video. And so I'll probably come running in here and say, guys, I'm just letting you know. I've gotten my confirmation. I'm going outside to ring a bell now. That's probably the way it'll go. And what does that mean? Hell, I don't know. And what does that mean? Hell. Hell. On earth. Is what it means. When he rings that bell, he's going to come back in. He's going to run back in real fast. As soon as that bell is rung, at that Eagles game, that football game. He's gonna run back in and just give you a little quick update. Just another reminder of today, January 1st, 2020. Two days before, or was it one day? I mean, with the, the Eagles played on Sunday. Anyway, a couple days before the game, before the schedule was even set, before the Eagles even played the Giants and won. January 5th, 2020, Eagles versus Seahawks. And before they were even told that they were going to be playing the Seahawks, before it was said that they were going to play on Sunday, before it said it was going to be the 4 o'clock game at the link, click is the link blown up. Before all that, the Eagles... Still have to beat the Giants on Sunday, December 29th. So it's two days before. In order to even have a playoff game at Lincoln Financial Field, in order for the second 9-11 to even happen, for Click to ring the bell, with explosions on the sidelines in the Section 102 that slays 7,000 men, according to the fake news media, in the fourth quarter, with 5.55 remaining in in a blowout. Eagles winning. I'm sticking still with all this. And a total of 45 points. Or it's 45 nothing. Or it's something with 40 or 45 degrees out. It's 45 is going to be in there. Because from that point on, it's 45 days. And Kleck's going to be doing his, his, his theme live. He's going to be doing a 45-day theme live. So he's got a lot of work to do, along with the people that are helping him. So nothing here has changed. If, 
it did wind up being on January 5th and not 4th on Sunday. And because the Seahawks purposely lost, that lines them up with playing the Eagles ahead of time. And because it's the last, they want to show you the last game. Because when that happens on, on a Sunday, then Monday is the end of, Monday is the next part where it's, it'll be, it'll be the next two, which is the $50 bill, 17th JFK, and then uh, 17th, well that's 17th JFK, and then 15th Street. Broad Street, wrapping around the William Penn building, all on Monday. Because when that happens on Sunday, then it's two days. He's doing two days of complete destruction to do away with all the trees and then grinding all that and then getting all that dirt paved up and, and the concrete truck 15 minutes beforehand. William Penn decided to fall over. As it says, it's the destruction of the Hoover, Hoover Dam on the $50 bill. And that's 17th and JFK right there. Click told you that, I don't know, maybe, who knows? Maybe, maybe the New York can have a tidal wave. Or maybe the Hoover Dam will explode. I know, right? It's hilarious. <laughs> the Lord told me to go, he told me when to ring a bell. My name means Yahweh has given a messenger that rings a bell. Gathers the church, so when he tells me to go ring a bell, I'll go ring a bell. Who knows, maybe New York will get wiped out with the tidal wave. Maybe the Hoover Dam will go at the same time. Maybe, you know, that $100 bill thing will happen the moment I ring the bell. I don't know. But I know this. There's a bell hanging out there. And it is so supernatural, the bell and the message that came with the bell. I documented it. It's so supernatural. It can only mean one thing. Victory. For God's people. For the Lord God's people. And our victory was... Man, it's so identical, ain't it? It's crazy. There's no other victory. That's it. There's no other way. From the West, Church of Christ, the freeway. There's no other way to get there besides the freeway of Christ. There's no other way. December 31st. Man, Cleck loves hopping on there right before he does his thing. There's no other victory.